Hey, I'm Bob at I Like to Make Stuff. Today, we're going to get R2-D2 on his feet. <laughs> we are back here on R2-D2. I'm excited because I'm just picking up where I left off in the last video that was just a couple of days ago for me. And in that video, we got a lot of the electronics done for R2. Obviously, his lights have been working for a while, but now I can actually control his head and he makes sounds. <laughs> And that's all through this PlayStation 3 remote. If you missed that video, go back and check it out. But when I did all those electronics, I also got the feet motors hooked up so that they actually work from the controls as well. They're just not on him because he doesn't have feet. So today, we're actually finally going to get started on the feet so we can get him on the floor and roll him around. Just like everything else on R2-D2, the feet can be built out of whatever material you want. Plastic, metal, wood, doesn't really matter. There's a million ways to do it. I decided to use eighth inch aluminum. And one of the downsides of that is that a lot of the metal feet plans actually require you to bend eighth or quarter inch aluminum in certain ways that I don't really have a good way to do. Luckily, I found a flat pack version of the plans, and this is a DXF file that's all flat pieces that you can just cut out. If you want, you could print these out as a template, put it on your plastic or your metal or your wood, cut it by hand, or you can send this file to some software and cut it out on a CNC. I'm gonna use my Wazer just so I can get a nice clean cut on the aluminum. The article on the Astromech forum also has a list of all the hardware you need, stuff from the hardware store and from Vex Robotics, specialty wheels, motors, chains, all that. I'll show you that in just a minute, but first, let's get this stuff cut out. After lots of cutting on the Wazer, I have all the panels that I need to put together. Now these are going to be sandwiched with some bolts and some aluminum spacers. If you actually wanted to do this, you're definitely going to have to read through all the instructions on the forum. So rather than me just going through those again here, you're just going to get to watch me put it together. I've got the basic parts of this put together. I just wanted to walk you through what's here, in case you're curious. You have a drive wheel on the back that has a sprocket. That's gonna be chain driven to a motor that's gonna go in here. Now this is a replacement scooter motor. It's nothing really powerful or special. And it goes in there and mounts and it will drive this back wheel. The front wheel is actually really interesting. This is called an Omni wheel and it's often used in different robotics projects. And it rolls this way on the bearing. And then each one of these gray things is a separate wheel that rolls perpendicular to the main bearing. And so this thing can sit on a table and kind of move in every direction, which is why it's called an Omni wheel. Okay, we got sound, so we should have drive, but we don't. <laughs> Why didn't it work? It didn't work because all of the wires are hooked up except for the ones that actually go to the motors. The line is not connected to
I got the two outer feet put on and I also made up the center foot. It's pretty similar except that there's no drive wheel. This one is actually mounted to a little leg that gets attached to the bottom of it. So I'm temporarily drilling some holes so I can drive in some screws just to test fit the whole thing. When you make an R2, you find that a lot of times you have to put something together temporarily just to see if it works and then you take it apart and figure out how to put it back together in a strong way so that it'll last. Sound, motion. <laughs> it was super cool to get him on the ground and rolling around, but in that process, I saw that the legs were not attached as strongly as they needed to be. So since then, I actually took the legs off, added in an aluminum plate here, and then reinforced where all the bolts that came through. So now the legs are far more sturdy. So when we put him back on the ground, he's gonna be a lot stronger. I did make a couple of other changes that I want to show you though. I added a fuse block here, just in case there are any problems, those fuses will blow and save the electronics. And based on the last video, I actually switched over from DeWalt to Milwaukee. And the reason I did that is because a lot of people mentioned that the battery management system is in the tool on DeWalt stuff, but it's in the battery on Milwaukee. So the advantage here is that if this goes under voltage, I don't have to worry about it damaging the cell inside the battery over time. I just 3D printed a housing to fit over the battery and put the wires directly into that. Next up, we need to move on to the rest of the feet. So these feet that we put together are obviously just the inside and there's a whole shell that goes over top of this. I've got those pieces cut, so let me go show them to you. Whereas the inner part of the foot is all bolt together, the outer part is gonna be welded together, which means I am in the very beginning process of learning how to TIG weld aluminum. I've got a long way to go on it, but I wanted to show you the pieces. These are pieces that I cut out on the Wazer and they have little finger joint kind of areas built into them so that the pieces will fit together. Like this piece in the corner has the two parts that fit together and they're tight enough that they will hold each other in place so that you can weld them together. So basically the entire foot is built out of this type of joint. You get it all held together and then you go back and reinforce it with some welds. After a whole lot of welding, I'm at this point, and it's not completely done. There's a lot of gaps here, but a lot of those gaps will actually be filled with body filler. I'm gonna use some Bondo type material to fill in these spaces that are not structural. It is welded together, so it's nice and strong, and I don't have to fill in every little piece with aluminum. We're gonna do that later on, but the next step is actually figure out how to put this panel that's removable on this front face. You'll notice here that I cut a little section out of that, and that's because the bolt for the foot needs to go in here and I need to be able to tighten it from the other side. So if this top section was in place, you couldn't get to the head of the bolt. My way around this is to actually take this panel and put the tab that I cut out of that frame on the top here, and this will give it an alignment so it can slide in there and snap into place. Then we'll use some magnets on the bottom. First step, let's get this fit and get this glued to this with some JB Weld. Now that we got that tab on there, the way this is gonna attach is the tab will go up inside and then the bottom will snap into place. And the bottom is gonna snap into place onto some magnets. But this entire thing is aluminum, so we can't use magnets directly on it. To get around that, we're actually gonna take some JB Weld and put some small rare earth magnets on the inside of the panel. And then also with JB Weld, put in a steel rod that goes and lines up with those magnets. So the magnets will attach to the rod. I've got all three of the magnets here in little blobs of JB Weld, and I have to wait till that dries or cures or whatever it does, because otherwise they're gonna hop out and grab onto the steel rod. Once these are in place, 
I can actually put some JB Weld on the end of the rod, snap it onto the magnets, and it will hold in exactly the right position while it cures on the ends of this rod. This is actually the first of the two feet that I did, and this was mainly to experiment on. I wanted to make sure that I could figure out how to do the welding and everything off camera. But this system of locking this in with magnets works out really well. Once you get that hooked in there, it snaps right in place and it's nice and strong. He's on wheels, which means he's rolling around, he's got feet, he doesn't have to be on a stand or a table anymore. That's awesome, but obviously his ankles are kind of wobbly, he's got a really long way to go. We've got a bunch of other stuff. There's still pieces that are missing, none of these flaps work yet, he doesn't have a skirt on down here, which is a whole piece to kind of hide some of this. we still got a lot of work to do, but I think this is a great place to stop this particular video because I'm pretty stoked that he's rolling around. Thanks for hanging out with me on this long-term project. We've got a lot more to do, but the next steps are gonna have to wait a little bit. We've got tons of other types of projects that you may wanna check out, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> hey, I'm Bob, and I like to make stuff. Hey, I'm Bob, and I like to make Hey, I'm Bob, and I like Dang it, what is wrong? <laughs> this is especially hard to Hey, blah, blah, blah. Action. That was super cool. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, well. Ow! <laughs>